Hey team, it's Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing great. Got an awesome video for you today. Literally, the title of the video is holding it together with duct tape and bubble gum to make this great game, and you guessed it, the Schlieffen during Schlieffen week. So, uh, build is on the screen, a secondary focus battleship. Obviously, that's what this massive uh, battle cruiser battleship, you wanna call it, German side is. And it's really fun. Again, appreciate all the support, subscriptions, likes, comments, everything you guys have been contributing this to the build of this channel and getting to 400 subscribers and we are on our way and we appreciate again all the support so Schlieffen if you guys don't know already Schlieffen is available now in the uh, tech tree line of the German battleship group it has been split off from the GK line to now the Schlieffen line uh, which is on the left side of the tech tree um, pretty easy to grind out not a bad deal because tier 9 Ruprecht is also a awesome uh, tier 9 battleship that is also secondary focus and I've had a blast in both so the Schlieffen although I do like it more because it has an extra set of secondary guns it just seems a little bit more powerful uh, a little bit more HP full uh, it's about 76,000 compared to the Prince Rupert has less than that obviously probably around the I think it was like 57 or 60,000 range so anyways this game was really fun because uh, it just shows the if you use the assets that you have available the damage cons and the heals correctly you can get away with a lot of good stuff so take a nice broadside shot of the gk and look at that bam 26.9k off of him always take advantage of a broadside battleship and you notice at first if the positioning right off the bat in this uh, ranked game i kind of just hung out at b and watched the battlefield develop I think a lot of people make a mistake in the Schlieffen and this kind of ba battleship line is they rush in too much. I know a lot of other guys on YouTube have said, yeah, if you play this ship way too um, aggressive in the sense that you want to use those secondaries right away, get them going, you, you're going to pay the price. Everything has a price with it, right? So patience is, a, you know, just like they say, patience is a virtue. It does pay off just to, just to wait to see, hey, the enemy team is probably going to do something foolish or maybe rush themselves and you're gonna capitalize on it if you are just patient enough to watch the battlefield develop. So we're gonna look at the GK here. GK, I've already done a video about you know going one-on-one -on -one with it. I, I still don't think this thing can, uh, I think it could, but really at the end of the day, it's hard to take a GK on one-on-one -on -one with the, its armor, with its massive HP pool. I mean, like they have an extra 30,000 HP than we do. So it, it's simple math right there. They can pretty much do a lot of damage with us unless you're with a friend. We slam on the brakes right here right now uh, because we're taking some pretty massive hits from the Annapolis right here. So I've played the Annapolis, I love it. It's a basically tier 10 Des Moines, super Des Moines. And we're going to see if we can get rid of this GK right off the bat, slam on the brakes and go in reverse because we cannot handle this damage. You know, the Schlieffen is not very good at tanking damage. Because again, you don't have that uh, bank of HP pool to draw from. Boom, there goes GK. He is back to port, RIP guys. And now we're going to back up and conserve our heals. You notice we still have a damage con ready. I need to save that until my heal is back up. We can hold out for 46 seconds. And here's the bread and butter of the Schlieffen right here, the concealment. You notice our concealment is down to 12.6, which means we go off the, the uh, sight line, and now we can pretty much fire secondaries without, without uh, penalty, and we're gonna back up and retreat, regroup, get our heal back, heal the ship back to half health, and then we'll start all over again. So we're looking at the map right here. The Thunder, I believe Thunder and Montana are dueling it out on the west side, while we have the Marceau, the, uh, the fast tier 10, kind of Cleb Bear style, French DD playing off in the distance. So he's out of the game pretty much. He's so far away, it doesn't even matter. So we're gonna sit here and wait, and I think they're gonna have to push. I mean, if we defend A and B, that basically C will be our next uh, target point. But we gotta heal the ship first, like we just did right there. We're healing it back to about half, which is, I think, decent enough to handle a cruiser uh, at this point. So we'll, once we're healed up, I got my hydro ready to go, and we are gonna go forward and take on, hopefully, the Annapolis and I don't know where all the other ships are at right now. I think we have a Venezia and a Yamato. So I think we can handle those if our team is, as you can see, we have to watch what our team is doing as well, pushing from the east. So our, our eastern team is coming down. We're gonna come support them and kind of flank through the middle and push them out and get them going. Okay, we are spotted right now. So possibly, yep, that was Annapolis spotting us and he's firing. Uh, we had torpedoes go by a minute ago. That's why you saw I had to back up. I knew the Venezia had launched something. 
We damage combat right away because we, we don't want to, um, you know, we are trying to save as much health as we can. And we have four damage guns and they heal pretty quickly. So I'm willing to spend the price. I don't want to die in the game with damage cons left over. I always want to use all my assets to bear to win the game. He's behind a mountain. We can see him, he can't see us. Our concealment's fantastic, but I do know that Vanessa is heading towards, uh, or actually, yeah, he's heading towards us based on the mini map. Marceau is also coming at us as well, so this is good. So we're gonna run away and cheat, or kite away, and try to maximize our concealment as best we can because we don't wanna take a broadside shot right now because we're showing broadside. Yep, we're spotted right there. We are now in range of the Venezia. See if we can take a nice quick pop shot at him. Ooh, our western side got destroyed. Montana's done, so I don't know where that thunder is at. We have to keep an eye out for him. Always, always, always remember the minimap and remember what is going on. Yep, there it is, that's the thunder we were worried about. We're gonna have to probably uh, save, damage on that one, save as much health as we can, run away and regroup, because now we're at five ships looking at us to, uh, to pretty much us alone. We cannot handle and tank that much damage. Again, know the capabilities of your battleship and really know when to pick your battles and know when to run away. Pretty much, it's not running away, it's really just regrouping. Just seeing if we can minimize the damage output that we're, or input that we're getting, but before we can maximize our damage output. There it is. Let's see if we can remove the Marceau, and this is exactly why I love the Schlieffen right here. And boom! Seconders hit him and finish it off with the cherry on top sweet shot from the Schlieffen's eight guns. So that was pretty awesome right there. Two kills down, 10 minutes left in the game. We are up at about 200 points, so no need to really push. We don't need to cap really much. We can pretty much win the game just by sitting here and we can conserve our health. We're down to 19,000 health and our heal won't really help us any more after this because this is pretty much what you see is what you get and we're out of heals anyways. Uh, we All we have are damage cons left. So I've used everything at our disposal to keep this ship together. Let's see if we can survive the, uh, the onslaught. A cap is being capped right now, which tells me situational awareness wise, there is a thunderer right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm basically gonna do a jink in and jink back out, turn the ship back around and maximize all our guns to the starboard right side because that's the, the side we will be facing when that thunderer pops his head around A cap. So my thought is we're gonna try to take on the thunderer while our team is gonna keep the, the other south uh, bad guys uh, red team at bay. So we can only take one guy at a time at this point and Venezia is off the map. Thank goodness Good Annapolis, game, way to go. We are now four ships to their three. I think we can take on the Thunderer as long as he's not firing HE at us and burns us to death. We are gonna have to maximize our firepower on the Thunderer. So, but it looks like this nice Annapolis is uh, showing, going to show some nice juicy broadside. So. The cool thing again about the Schlieffen and, and the Ruprecht and that, that this German cruiser battle line is the rear turret, you notice number four there, is a 360 gun turret. So this is pretty nice because I can turn and still maximize at least three guns instead of just two. See, we have three guns now aimed and bared on the Annapolis, which is a good thing. Dang, Thunderbird takes out our Yamato and we are waiting for the sweet shot from the Annapolis here. Hold on right there, come on. Let's see if we can get this nice shot. Will it connect? Ooh, overshot right there with an overpin. We are spotted because we took that shot and uh, now we are waiting up. Oh, we got a shot from the Thunderer. It takes, okay, we're nose in. We got to mitigate damage from the Thunderer. We're gonna nose in towards him. Not afraid of the Annapolis right now. He fires a ton of HE at us right now and hopefully we can put out a fire if one starts. Nope, we're good. All right, here we go. Secondaries are active and we're gonna shoot, we shoot the bow. We may be able to overpin his front bow. I'm not really sure about the math, but you know what? Our secondaries will hopefully do the damn boom right there, 8,500, two penetrations right there. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if we can knock them out. Look at that, the shower, the rain of fire right there. Just listen to those secondaries pop off. Come on, nice shot, last shot right here. This has to connect so we can move on to the next target. Oh, almost got him, come on secondaries. Come on, let's get him. Let's go, let's go, boom! Annapolis RIP back to port. And now all we gotta do is take out this Thunder and that'll be our team. Take preemptive torps firing right at him just in case. Showing way too much broadside and look, we are 572 health, ladies and gentlemen. We are holding the ship literally together with duct tape and bubble gum. Let's see if we can melt this thing before he gets another shot off. 
Now, I know that I cannot take the next shot full broadside or any angling, so I'm going to have to nose in, knife in, get slim, and minimize our profile while all of our secondaries are firing. Come on, baby. 11K health, 9,000 health, 8,000, 7,000, 6,000, 5, 4, 3, 2, boom, goes the dynamite, and we have killed four ships, and hopefully we can mitigate another damage from Yamato. I mean, the Yamato literally just has to look at us and blow dust at us, and we are pretty much going to fall apart. So we're going to take preemptive shots. Here comes a shot. Oh, my gosh. Hard turn, baby. Hard turn. Oh, short. And I think we took a, a ricochet right there. That was the literally the last panel holding together to hold us together. And here comes the last shot. And I think this is pretty much over right here. We, we are probably going to die to this. You know what? The RNG gods say we should live some more. Well, that is the game, ladies and gentlemen. I think we win by points, but uh, I hope you enjoyed it. It was really fun. Get your blood pumping, get your adrenaline running, and that's why this game is so fun. Just for situations like this where you're having fun, working together as a team, and just seeing how a plan comes through. And again, this is an awesome ship. Definitely get it, tier 10 Schlieffen. And again, I hope you guys are doing great. Like, subscribe, comment on the video below. Appreciate all the support on our way to forum subscribers. Until then, we'll see you guys next time. Cheers.